all doing i hope you're all fine welcome back to my channel thank you so much for returning back here if you know you are a returning subscriber god bless you for your love and your support and always remember that i don't take you for granted but if it's your first time here on my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell it is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you won't regret subscribing so dear beautiful friends in our today's video we have another matchmaking show and our single lady of today who is searching for her perfect match is from Uganda, the pearl of Africa. Her name is Margaret, 34 years old, never married and does not have kids. So dear friends, I am going to be starting with a bit of Margaret's life background, her past love relationship experience in real life and also if Margaret is on online dating apps, then a bit of her experience on online dating apps. Because I know guys, this whole thing might seem very strange to anyone that comes across this video, especially if you are new <laughs> to this channel. So you might ask yourself, why a lady like Margaret come here to search for the perfect match. So by knowing a bit of her life background, it will give you the answers to know that Margaret is not desperate. <laughs> but due to the challenges she has faced in real life to find the one, then that is why we are here today. So if you are a single guy out there, then you have come across this video, count yourself lucky because this is a great opportunity for you to find your perfect match. And by knowing a bit of Margaret's life background, a bit of her past love relationship experience, and more that I'm going to let you know in this video about Margaret, it will help you know if Margaret is your perfect match or not and to all beautiful single ladies out there watching this first of all thank you so much for the support because i know it's not easy <laughs> but guys i'm here for you through margaret's life background a bit of her past love relationship experience <laughs> and her experience on online dating apps it will help us in our journey to search for the one on online dating apps so without wasting much of your time let us jump into this matchmaking show so guys before i give you lots of information about margaret let me show you first her photos so that you get to see how she looks like friends to a bit of Margaret's life background. Margaret tells us was born and raised in Uganda and unfortunately lost her dad when she was very little. May your dad's soul keep resting in peace. Amen. So Margaret was raised by a single mother. So friends, Margaret after finishing secondary school went for a hotel management course and after graduating found a job in one of the five stars hotel in Kampala, Uganda. So she worked in that five stars hotel for a period of five years. Then COVID happened, lost her job. After losing her job, because Margaret is a very hardworking lady, decided to go into business, employ herself, which is what she is doing now or currently. So dear friends, to her past love relationship experience. Margaret tells us was in a love relationship with a Ugandan guy and loved that guy very, very much. Believed that that guy too 
loved margaret so so much they were that perfect couple they shared same interests same hobbies and you know us as ladies when you find yourself dating a guy and everything is matching you feel at peace you feel secure you give him your all. So that is what Margaret did, believed that that man is going to be her future husband. So they dated for quite a long time. Everything was going very, very well until this boyfriend decided to go abroad to look for greener pasture. So left Margaret in Uganda and went abroad. After reaching abroad, they kept on communicating all was good but after a short period of time started ignoring margaret started acting weird like he is no longer interested in that relationship margaret tried her best to make things work but you know guys i told you for a relationship to work it takes two so no matter how you try to make things work if the other part is not ready for things to work out it will never work out so an advice here to single ladies that are searching or maybe you are dating someone you are in the same place where margaret was trying to make things work but the other part or the guy that you are dating is not ready to make things work better give up okay because <laughs> that will be a wastage of your time instead of you insisting instead of you begging the guy to get back with you better work on yourself talk to god to help you forget that man and also bring the right man the man who will treat you right so after margaret trying so hard for the relationship to work but never got the same energy from the guy that she thought is going to marry her is going to be her future husband eventually decided to give up on that relationship and that's how margaret's past relationship ended so guys margaret's relationship ended like that but left her very heartbroken because you know what you give your a hundred percent trust to a guy and then betrays you he puts you in a place where you start having trust issues so margaret started having trust issues was like how can i believe in any other man that comes in my life i gave this man my a hundred trust i thought he was reliable but in the end i ended up with tears so margaret decided to stop everything concerning love and concentrated on work but as you know guys time heals so as time kept on going margaret felt like i can try again to search for love and guys this takes us to know a bit of her challenges in finding love in real life so dear friends margaret tells us her challenge to find love in real life is that you find a guy and you have got good connection you have good intentions you know to be in a relationship with that guy but on the guy's side he has got totally different intentions to be with you so that has been her greatest challenge and gave us an example after putting herself out there in real life came across this nigerian guy the guy at first seemed nice good sweet loving <laughs> but as they kept on dating margaret came to find out that that guy was so immature and he was not a husband material his intentions to be with margaret were totally different to what margaret imagined or expected so they had to end that relationship and you know what guys the sad thing is that those good women you know wife material you know you have got all good qualities in a woman in the end men take advantage of you that is why as a sister who loves you so much you are here watching this never stop being a good woman never keep being you but at the same time shine your eyes don't let any man take advantage of you so when margaret came to find out that that nigerian guy 
had bad intentions to be with her, decided to, to end that relationship and remained single. But at the same time, kept on praying to God to bring that right man, a man who will be the future husband, a man who will be a father to their kids. So guys, after the relationship with a Nigerian guy failing, that was the second relationship failing in real life, Margaret decided to try out online dating apps. She joined online dating apps and started searching for the one. But tells us it has not been easy being on online dating apps cause on online dating apps exist both serious men and unserious men. So Margaret has come across men who are not serious on online dating apps, men who wants to play games, men who want to take advantage of women, men who have got strange profiles. Like you find a guy's profile does not have pictures and still that guy wants to get to know you. Or you find a guy's picture on online dating apps is telling you the guy is 40. But when you go to talk on a video call, you find a 60 years old guy. Why lie? <laughs> so it has been a struggle. I know girl, the struggle is real. But what I like about Margaret, she's very determined. Never told me Bella, I am giving up. <laughs> it's not working out. She's always like, Bella, I know God's time is the best. So this is the kind of mindset that I want you all guys that are on landing apps to have wait on God's time but meanwhile do the right thing like I have been advising you and maybe I give you a little bit of homework or a question to ask yourself if you are at the point like I want to give up I feel frustrated I feel like I am falling into a depression due to me being on online dating apps and not finding anyone so question number one you need to ask yourself before you give up is am I active on the right dating apps to add on that do I know how to use the dating apps that I am active on when I talk of knowing how to use the dating apps that you are active on I mean you having that perfect online dating profile your description is <laughs> what you're looking for in a guy is <laughs> note that you have written only one sentence and then you left it like that <laughs> oh you did not tell a guy that is reading your profile who are you a bit of your character because it's very very important guys it's not that maybe this guy has got your phone number will call you later and ask you i need to know your character no you have to tell him in your description and also include a bit of your hobbies i've been seeing lots of profiles of ladies that are on online dating apps and you find that they are not writing about their character and also forgetting about their hobbies which is very very important so before you complain it's not working out for you before you write to me on the comment section Bella please recommend me the best online dating apps <laughs> whereby I have recommended already but maybe you're looking for someone to blame if I give you the name of the dating app you go do same same things you don't set up a good profile your photos are not all that attractive they're not catchy it's not that you're not beautiful you are beautiful but still you don't want to learn how to take cute photos it should make a guy click on it and then after a month or two of me recommending to you try out this dating app it does not work you come to me again and be like the dating apps that you recommended to me are full of fake guys <laughs> fake profiles all scammers all are asking nude photos <laughs> <laughs> please work on your profile get to know how to use the dating apps that you are active on if you have been using a dating app it has been six months now nothing has happened and you have done everything like i have advised change try out new dating apps that you have never tried out before you give up so the second question to ask yourself is that 
am I really ready to be on online dating apps? Because I know most of you, due to the past love relationship experiences, you have not healed yet. You are still hurt. You haven't moved on. <laughs> and some of you go on online dating apps thinking that if you find a guy, he will help you forget your past. It cannot work out. You need to first find peace in your heart. Be ready for a new relationship. When the right guy comes, then you get to keep him. <laughs> but if you're not ready to be in a relationship, you go into online dating apps, then the right guy comes, you might not even notice the guy is the right guy. Or he might be so good to you, and then in the end, due to the past love relationship experience, <laughs> Because you are hurt, he gets to know that you have not moved on and no man will stay with a lady who is still attached to her past. So before you give up, before you say it's not working out, please talk to yourself. Have I moved on? Have I forgiven men? Am I at peace with men? Can I fall in love with a man? <laughs> if you can't, keep working on yourself until all is good, you are at your happy place, then come back to online dating apps because they will always be there. To add on being ready to be on online dating apps, I remember talking about Madame I am busy. <laughs> Have you come across a guy, you start chatting and everything is good, but in your communication, this guy disappears. <laughs> Like he chat today, he comes back after three days. He's like, I was busy. Sorry. All the time, I am sorry. I was busy. All the time, it's like this guy is not settled. Of course, he is going to turn you off. <laughs> and if it was me, he is going to turn me off. This applies to women. If you are a woman who is always busy, a guy sends you a message, you take three or four days to respond. Whenever he wants to talk to you on a video call, you are always busy. <laughs> Some of you disappear for months on online dating apps, but still you complain it's not working. I'm so frustrated with online dating apps. <laughs> It will never work out, of course. You have to give it time. If you want to succeed in anything that you are doing, you have to put in enough effort, okay? <laughs> Another question that I want you to ask yourself before you give up, I talked about this very recently. Do you know how to keep the conversation going? Do you always approach men? Make that first approach. Because some of you feel like a guy will see you, you are very desperate if you approach him on online dating apps. But that's not the case. I told you, you approach a guy, he shows you that he is interested, let him be a man. Let him show you that he is really interested in you. That way, you are not going to look desperate. But if you are the one to make the first approach, you are the one to always look for this guy, of course, you are going to seem desperate. <laughs> so before you give up, ask yourself, do I approach men on online dating apps? And if yes, when they respond to me, do I know how to keep the conversation going? So the last question that I want you to ask yourself, and then we continue with Margaret's profile, because this is why we are here today, but because Margaret talked of her experience on online dating apps, that is why I decided to take a chance to give you a bit of some advice, especially to you ladies that are on online dating apps still searching for the one. So dear friends, the last question you need to ask yourself before you give up on online dating apps is, am I in a hurry? I told you, if you are in a hurry, it's gonna be so hard for you to find the one. It's gonna be so hard for you to overcome all the challenges that you are going to face on online dating apps. You don't need to be in a hurry. You don't need to be desperate. I know most of you that are on online dating apps because we chat, what worries you the most 
is your age but worrying or being frustrated or falling into a depression or deleting the dating apps it's not a solution at all <laughs> what you need to do is to keep praying keep praying to god you feel tired just take a break don't delete the dating apps and when you feel like you have got an energy to start all over start all over keep searching because god knows when the right guy will come i know some of you are worried oh my god i'm getting old i don't have kids do not worry i've seen people having kids in their 40s in their 50s so put your trust in god everything will work out smoothly even at the time you do not expect it trust me guys so it has been a great challenge for margaret to find the one on online dating apps but she is still there and decided to also increase her chances you know to be found to find the one by putting her profile here on youtube so you as a single guy watching this and maybe you are interested in margaret i think this is good for you to know margaret is still on online dating apps she is a very honest lady that is why we are letting you know this but if you guys come to be a perfect match then she's gonna delete all those dating apps and we are going to take down this video because she will be off market <laughs> So to some of the questions that I asked Margaret that will help you to know if Margaret is a perfect match or not. Question number one that I asked her is what is love? And you're going to be listening to her responding to that. I define love as an intense of feelings of deep affection in both the opposite sex would be a woman's side or a man's side that is how i love because it's something we feel deep from our heart and it's something we feel and express it and when it comes from inside it's very real more than when one pours from outside you get my point so in brief it's that's how i define love so the second question that i asked margaret is are you interested in interracial dating and if yes why so margaret responded and was like yes bella i am interested in interracial dating because interracial dating for me is a good thing i get to learn new culture meet new people learn new things and also i love mixed kids <laughs> yeah so question number four that i asked margaret was about relocating if she is ready to relocate was like yes bella if i find a man who knows what he wants a man who will love me truly a man who stands on his decision yes i am ready to relocate about religion we all know religion is very very important when it comes to dating okay so margaret said respects each and everyone's religion or beliefs but would love her man to be a christian so to the things that margaret cannot tolerate in a relationship and i know you too as a single man out there there are some things that you can tolerate in a relationship so let's find out those things that margaret cannot tolerate so number one thing that margaret cannot tolerate in a relationship is a man who will ignore her maybe you guys have to sit down and communicate solve whatever problem that you are facing as a couple but a guy ignores her and doesn't want to talk to her or maybe for example she is trying to talk to the man but the man does not want to listen to her but listens to someone else that one irritates her a lot because for her she believes for a relationship to work good communication has to be there and you know guys challenges as human beings we will always face challenges in life and we also need to solve them so that we can move on peacefully <laughs> number two of the things margaret cannot tolerate in a relationship is a guy who is over controlling 
controls you to an extent you can't talk to your friends you can't talk to anyone wants to isolate you from everyone close to you that kind of a guy or that kind of a relationship she will never accept number three of the things margaret cannot tolerate in a relationship is a guy who doesn't know how to apologize because as human beings we are not perfect and it can happen to wrong each other but when you know you are wrong it is good to ask for forgiveness apologize but if you know you are a guy who is unapologetic <laughs> then margaret is not your perfect match <laughs> number four if you are a guy who will compare margaret with other women or with your exes then you are not her perfect match because we'll never tolerate a guy who will compare her with other women number five margaret will never tolerate a guy who will embarrass her in front of everyone let it be her kids her relatives or her friends number six that margaret cannot tolerate in a relationship if you know you are a guy who likes taking maybe you ask money all the time you want to ask money 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 from margaret <laughs> you never give then count her out <laughs> you are not her perfect match doesn't like a guy who asks money number seven of what margaret cannot tolerate in a relationship is a guy who is a smoker plus those guys who over drink if you are a guy who always tells lies telling lies is your weakness count margaret out because <laughs> that's not like a guy who tells lies if a fight happens you know in a relationship you wronged each other there is a bit of a misunderstanding then you talk made peace you shouldn't bring it up again if you're a guy who always brings back the past fights maybe she wronged you and then again you talk about it whereby you solved everything margaret cannot tolerate that so up to now i think you can tell if margaret is your perfect match or is not but let me hope she is your perfect match if you think margaret is your perfect match do not hesitate to check me out on instagram at african bella let's talk because <laughs> some guys have been coming on instagram like i'm interested in the lady that you uploaded last time then when i tell a guy okay tell me a bit about yourself so that i can see if you guys are a perfect match or not then give you her phone numbers you disappear some of you be like you're not ready to talk about yourselves guys i'm doing all this to avoid wasting each other's time yes and due to the experience that i have got i can tell if you guys are a perfect match or not so when you come on instagram be ready to be asked questions because that is how i do things so to margaret's character let's find out how is margaret okay sophie has done her makeup <laughs> saluta hi 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 guys hi guys hi guys i've done my makeup how does it look like? <laughs> Sophie. Uh, now what are you doing? Don't do that. <laughs> okay, saluta, manda mbacho. Okay. <laughs> so guys, Margaret tells us is approachable determined loyal calm and it's true guys margaret is very very calm very understanding is a good listener kind generous and intelligent so to her hobbies like cooking reading books watching movies and listening to music so margaret's ideal man should be self-confident you must be eating healthy tells us has got a weakness in taller men so you should be tall <laughs> with an average body very honest 
a genuine guy, <laughs> generous, supportive, and kind-hearted. So to her expectations in a relationship or from her perfect match, <laughs> what does Margaret expect in a relationship? Margaret tells us, expect her match to have a forgiving heart when you wrong each other. Expect to respect and tells us her perfect match or a man who will date her will first respect himself and then respect everyone around him. Good communication, honesty, plus trust. You should trust yourself as a man and also trust everyone around you, including Margaret. <laughs> so does Margaret want kids in her life? The answer is yes and tells us at least two. So guys, to the age range that Margaret is interested in, Margaret is 34, like I told you, and tells us her perfect match, the age should start from 35 to 47, maximum 50 years old. So guys, lastly, to the country of her preference, there is no crime in having a preference. So she would prefer if her perfect match will come from Italy, Germany, Switzerland, Sweden, USA, Canada, and Australia. But also guys, if you have watched this video, this matchmaking show, and you feel like Margaret is your perfect match, but you are not from the mentioned countries, do not worry. Still check me out on Instagram at African Bella so that we get to talk. Because what matters most is if you guys are a perfect match and all other factors, excluding where you are coming from. So this shouldn't stop you from checking me out on Instagram so that if you're a perfect match, I match you with Margaret and you begin your love story. Guys, before I end this video, I want to wish Margaret all the best in her search for the one. And you guys too, let us wish her all the best. So dear friends, thank you so much for watching this video. We have come to an end. May God bless you for your love and your support. If you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Comment below what you think about this video. I would like to know if you've got a single guy out there, is your friend or your brother, share this video with him. It will be of a big help. Please, if you have not watched my other videos too, what are you waiting for? Go watch those videos. They are going to help you a lot. You will learn lots, lots of things. If you have not subscribed, please join the family and thank you for subscribing. I love you so much, guys. You're always here in my heart. Let us meet in my next video. Ciao, ciao. Mwah.